Aaron Paxer, one of the uh, or the founder of Mint.com, which is did you guys demo today or you're about to or tomorrow morning? Tomorrow morning, Tuesday. Yeah. Um, one of the forty, one of the tech crunch forty here. For folks who've never heard of Mint, what is it? So Mint is a free personal finance web app. It's about ten times easier to use than Quicken or Microsoft Money. You can set it up in two minutes if you've got your online banking password handy, um, and it actually helps uh, make you money. So is that sort of who you're distinguishing yourself from, the, the Quickens and the uh, Microsoft Monies of the world? Well, I wouldn't say that uh, we're directly competitive. Quicken and Microsoft off money are really desktop uh, desktop software. It's more of accounting software. Um, with Quicken or Microsoft Money, it's it's a software package you buy for thirty to eighty dollars. You have to renew it every few years because they sunset their products. It takes an hour to set up, a couple hours every week to balance your checkbook, etc. Mint is um, is more automatic. It's web based. It brings the power of the web uh, to your finances. So it's a it's an online subscription service then. It's free, um, so no subscription required. Okay. We'll get back to the business model then in just a minute, since yeah. that raises a provocative question, but why don't we show people what it is? What it like. Sure, I'd be uh, happy to describe the business model as well. So, I will uh, log in. Now, it's Web 2.0. You don't have to have a business model, you realize. Oh, but we do. <laughs> So this is the overview page. I have uh, linked in a few accounts here. So I've linked in my checking account, my couple credit cards. It shows me how much money I have. It shows me how much I owe. And it'll actually send me email or text message alerts uh, if my balance dips too low so that I don't bounce any checks. So the alerts section here shows you just the highlights. It tells me, hey, I've got a credit card uh, bill that's due in four days. I spent more than usual on travel this month, this month, um, and my paycheck got deposited. So you can get these alerts through email or SMS. So you can actually you know, get your, your bank balances on your phone. It's like having a mobile interface to any bank. So Mint has serious technology behind it. We've got four patents that we're filing on the technology. And after setting up in about two minutes, you can see exactly where your money goes. So this will load up in just a second. So it shows me how much I spent on business services, home, food and dining, shopping. It shows me how much I spent on my Google AdWords campaigns. So I entered my, my business card for that. Um, it'll show me my spending on gas for the past few months, how much I spend each month at Costco or Safeway or Albertsons, which restaurants I go to most often. And if I want to dive into the details, I just click a category, and here it shows me the breakdown between restaurants, groceries, fast food, coffee. It's really precise. How is it getting the information about the various types of expenditures? So we have a patent pending algorithm that categorizes and classifies your transactions with about 90% accuracy. By contrast, Microsoft Money is maybe about 15% accurate, Quicken is about 40% accurate, so they don't really know where your money goes. You have to put a lot of uh, effort into those, those tools. So it's looking at the banking transaction information that you're getting from the bank, and it's... That's right. So all we get are your sort of... If you're used to online banking, you've got your balances, and you've got sort of uh, garbled-looking financial transactions. Mm -hmm. And what we do is we categorize them and turn them into plain English. So you get enough, uh, for lack of a better word, metadata from the banking transaction information to be able to categorize it? Yeah, that's right. So usually you see sort of an all-caps transaction, and we figure out exactly where you went and then categorize it appropriately. You see all of your accounts together as opposed to logging into four different uh, locations. You can sort by category, see how much you spent on advertising or how much you spent on auto. Um, you can sort by merchant and see, so get a lot of Adobe purchases. See how much I spent on Amazon. I did. I do about sixty dollars in Amazon purchases a month. Go one and a half times a month. So Mint not only tells you where your money goes, but if you click on the Ways to Save tab, it will actually show you how to save and make real money. So it, it sees that I've got a Capital One card here. And I'm not earning any rewards on that card. 
if I switch to Discover, I'd make $995 cash back and get it at a lower interest rate. Here, it says, here's your, your checking account. I've got a fifth third checking account. It's got $23,000 in it. Mint knows that I'm not earning any interest, so it will suggest that I move it over to ING, where I can earn 4 or 5% interest. That would mean $900 a year in my pocket as a consumer. If you look at the details of the credit card, if you pay any interest uh, on your credit card, it'll show you how much you can save by switching to a new card. It considers balance transfer fees, intro rates, final, uh, the, the final rate of the card. It's really precise. 5% back on restaurants, it knows I spend a lot on restaurants, so it gives me one of those cards. If I spend a lot on travel, it'll give me a miles card. If I spend a lot on gas, it might suggest a gas card. How are you making money then? Is it through partnerships with these uh, credit and financial services companies? Exactly. So Mint only makes money if we save our users money. So if you've got $20,000 in a B of A bank account and you're not earning any interest on it, uh, you're paying all sorts of bank fees, and Mint suggests that you move to ING, you make $900 more a year in interest, and Mint would earn a $20 referral fee. So um, our results are actually in no way based on our relationship with uh, providers. So we actually have a mixture of sponsored and unsponsored results. So we show you the best interest rate, the best price on phone, cable, internet, the best credit card, uh, based on the algorithms, based on the math, um, rather than our relationship. It's Sometimes our, our sponsors appear on top, sometimes they don't. So the, the idea is to be as objective and unbiased as possible. And sometimes we make a little bit of money. You're an affiliate service, exactly. essentially. Exactly, affiliate. Okay. Um, is Mint open yet, or will it be this week, or what's the status? Mint will be completely open to everyone starting Tuesday, September 18th at 9 a.m. Okay. Mint.com? Mint.com. How much should it cost to get Mint.com? I'm not saying, but I'll tell you I negotiated for it for three months. <laughs> um, thanks for your time. I appreciate it. Good luck. Okay. All right. All right.